Tonight's special report looks to the future and how we fuel our cars and trucks. The federal government has placed a premium on advanced biofuels, but biofuels are still not available in large quantities. And as KTVU's Ken Pritchett learned, that may cost oil refiners and ultimately consumers. Swirling around in this vat may just be the future of how you fuel your car. These advanced biofuels you know, are very real and are a game changer. Blake Simmons is vice president at the Joint Bioenergy Institute in Emeryville, which researches advanced cellulosic biofuels. What are they? Well, you've heard of ethanol or E85. It's a biofuel that's been around for years. It is made of corn kernels. Now, advanced cellulosic biofuels are made of things that we don't eat. Think about corn husks or ag waste or even wood chips. Here they use switchgrass, tobacco, and a host of other plants to make what promises to be a green alternative to oil. Congress, back in 2007, thought advanced biofuels the next big thing and mandated their use. The problem? Every year has been next year up till now for the, for the advanced biofuel industry. Bob Greco with the American Petroleum Institute says oil companies are being fined for unfair mandates. Congress ordered refiners buy 100 million gallons of cellulosic biofuels in 2010, and that number increased yearly to a billion gallons this year. And how much has been commercially produced? Just 20,000 gallons, all of that in 2012. When we have fuels that don't exist, we're required to pay compliance penalties to the government because these fuels don't exist. These guys are not being required to, uh, to purchase fuels they can't buy. Bruce Coleman with the Advanced Ethanol Council says it's true that, in part because of the recession, advanced biofuel large-scale production has not yet taken off. But as a result, he says courts have reversed fines and the EPA has slashed congressional mandates. To date, they've waived well more than 90% of those, 97% of those gallons. Congress's goal was to create a market for advanced biofuels by forcing the oil industry to support that market. So you do end up with a curious situation in which uh, there are mandates for fuels that literally don't exist yet. Hannah Breitz with the UC Berkeley Goldman School of Biosciences says the goals set by Congress were politically derived and always considered likely initially unachievable. Now the fight is over that renewable fuel standard. Oil companies want the law thrown out, claiming the advanced biofuels industry just isn't ready. It's like putting the cart before the horse and then killing the horse and complaining that the cart's not going anywhere. Simmons says the industry needs a boost as it's on the cusp of mass production of advanced biofuels. If true, it could change our world. In Emeryville, Ken Pritchett, KTVU Channel 2 News.